Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. If you want to see how far my hair has been growing during the past five months, stay until the end of the video. But for now, I'm gonna have to share with you guys why I've been using my hairs, how did I use them, how do I prepare them, right? So the first ingredient gonna be fenugreek powder. The other guy always make sure to buy one of this one when it says organic fenugreek powder, organic coconut oil. Why fenugreek seed? I'm gonna be telling you guys why. Why garlic? I'm gonna be telling you guys why garlic. Why red onion? I'm gonna be telling you guys. This is aloe vera. I'll be using the aloe vera. I just taking you know, the gel out of it. The first thing we're gonna have to prepare is gonna have to be the red onion and the garlic. I always make sure to buy something like this for your face. When you wear it on your face, so y'all guys see this layer inside here, right? This is gonna block the gas, you know, go into your eyes. For example, I got my onion, I got a knife. I can be cutting it off even closer to here. And the gas from the onion can go through this one, right? So guys, let's jump into the kitchen. The onion provides extra sulfur to support strong and thick hairs, which in return prevent hair loss and promote hair growth because it helps provide blood supply into the hair follicles. The garlic has got some antimicrobial properties that kill germs and bacteria, which are responsible for causing damage to your hair scalp. Besides, garlic is rich in vitamin C which promotes hair growth. I'm gonna leave you there for 24 hours. Okay, after 24 hours, we're not ready you know, to strain it. Filter it nicely. Now this is our onion and garlic juice. Now let's make a fenugreek juice. Always make sure first to measure the right quantity. Measure the water. Then wait for four days. Fenugreek is rich in iron, protein, which are necessary for hair growth. Fenugreek cures then dry, thick and fine hairs. I always make sure first I filter it very nice to remove all the seed inside, right? Because you don't want the fenugreek seed inside. You just need the water. Fenugreek has got vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin C. And this is our beautiful fenugreek juice. Aloe vera contains vitamin A, C, and D. This is the gel we're looking for in this aloe vera. All these vitamins enhance cells turnover. That means healthy cells growth. It also has vitamin B12 and folico acid. Both of these vitamins keep your hair from failing, which is very good for hair growth. That's what we're looking for here, right? Now we're gonna have to mix the fenugreek onion and garlic juice all in one box. We start first by the fenugreek water. Then the aloe vera water. We mix it. Now we now have to use the onion water. Mix it with the rest. And then the rice. We can keep it to the fridge for next use. Fenugreek is rich in iron, protein, which are necessary for hair growth. Olive oil contains protein, antioxidant, antimicrobial agent that may contribute to strengthen your hair follicles, increase your hair follicles lifespan. That means the longer the lifespan of your hair follicles, the more hair you're gonna be growing, right? Which is very good and which we're looking for here. Coconut oil has the power to make your hairs grow longer, stronger, thicker, and healthier. That's why we use them here. Now I'm going to show you all guys how do I use this product. I always do my push-up first before applying the onion juice on my hair.
When I'm done, push up. I apply the aloe vera, the oil, and the garlic juice on my hairs. I'll wait outside until it dries on my hair before going to shower. Always wear plastic on my hair when I'm into the bathroom. It's to prevent the water going to my hair and you know dissolve you know, the onion and the garlic. After my shower, is to have a cup of tea, make sure my hair is dried. Once I'm satisfied my hair is properly dried, then I go to bed to sleep. I do most of the time whenever I apply them on my hairs. I wait outside first about one hour. After one hour or maybe two hours, I go wash it up. Sometimes I go overnight. Just like in today's video, I'm going overnight, right? I'm going overnight because tomorrow is gonna be Saturday. When I wake up early in the morning, it's to go one. The more I run, more there's a blood flow going into my then into my hair scalp, which is very good for hair growth, right? Which you want, right? So that's gonna be the core key for us running tomorrow morning. Gym is closed because of the COVID-19. I'm doing intermittent fasting. When I wake up early in the morning, it's gonna be no breakfast. I'm gonna go run on an empty stomach. See you tomorrow morning. Make my bed first. So I'm gonna have to motivate myself. Maybe I'm a black panther or maybe I'm a brown panther. The choice is yours to choose. Which one should me be a black panther or brown panther? Maybe you have old shoes, you have new shoes. As long as you're usable, wear them, go outside, run, bear some fat. It's both good for your heart and it's good for your hair and growth. Let's go. I always run twice or three times a week. I call it the morning routine of every fit loggers. Do not sit home and expect things to happen by themselves. Go out and run. The more you run, the more calorie burn. The more calorie burn, the less fat you wanna store into your body. So this is very good, right? Right, guys, like in this part of the video, I'm really, really tired because I've been fasting and busy the morning time. I'm running without food into my tummy. So sometimes I take it very easy. And then when going up, then I put in more energy. That's why you burn your fat reserve, right? You see, use your fat reserve as source of energy. You just sustain onto your exercise. After this, I'ma eat way more healthier, right? But I'ma be sharing with you guys in another video how to eat after your after running, right? The more you're running, the more you're pumping oxygen into your blood. The more oxygen you pump into your blood, the less stressed you are. And the less stressed you are, the more hair you grow. We're not done running, we're back here. 
The next thing you gotta do is to go have my shower, all my clothes hang out of here, and later I'm gonna throw those ones side inside my, my, my washing machine. Let's go. Guys, I did not put on some clothes because I don't want the oil to be touching my, my clothes, right? So after applying the oil on my hair, that's when I'm going to put on some clothes, right? So the oil can be, you know, moisturize your hair scalp nicely, smoothly, right? If your hair is not hard enough, you go too much, you know, harder, you might break some of your hair. By the way, do not overuse it, right? If you're gonna overuse your hair, your hair is gonna be too oily, right? Make sure the oil is fully melted first before applying onto your hair, right? This oil, by nature, the way I made it, it is not thick. Most of the people always think, the thicker the oil, why means your hair is gonna be moisturized, right? Fully moisturized. That's not the case. You gotta be lighter. Just like my oil is light, right? It's not, it's not really even, okay? fully fully coagulated or thick oil my hair used to be very lighter on top of my hair now you guys see on top of my hair my hair is not thicker here right but right now after using this traditional medicine my hair is getting more thicker right here right so i'm going to have to continue treatment again i'm always patient do not go about combing your hairs if you want to get more hair on your hairs the more you comb in your hairs, you might be cutting off some of your hairs. I do not advise you, right? Can y'all guys hear this sound? Pra, pra, pra. Is your hair is cutting off. This is how my hair looks like, right? It looks cool, right? If you got any further questions, I'll be drop your question. I'll be here to give you all an answer. If you like the video, click on the like button, share and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video. Hair growth video that's be coming out soon, right? <laughs>